Hi, my name is Avery Kelly from Two Star Media, and I'm so excited to be here with you all. How are you? Hey, hey. Avery, how are you? Oh, I am doing well. I'm so excited to be here with the cast and the creator of Amber Brown. So let's just jump right into it. So first, I want to be able to talk to Carson. You portray the role of brand new incomer to middle school, Amber Brown, an introverted girl on a journey of self-discovery after many, many changes in her life. How do you relate to Amber as an artist finding herself? Um, I feel like in so many ways but especially on the level of um like it's her creativity I feel like I feel like I'm a creative person and I've learned from her that you can use that to express yourself um and I feel like she's just such a funny smart character and it just makes me feel like I um like when I'm going into that character it makes me feel like like Amber is the best version of me you know, so that was definitely fun to, to be, um, to play such a relatable character and someone that feels so much like me because it made it so much fun and it made it so easy. And she inspires me when I'm writing Carson. I want to serve her talent. Uh, she's just amazing. And same with Sarah too. You know, I, I, I care so much about my actors. And I'm so lucky that they're here to bring stories to life that I just want, you know, uh, Carson to get a script and go oh I, I can't wait to do this or I that's feel how something we felt or, every yeah. single table read. totally we always reached and we're like Bonnie this one made me cry oh, <laughs> I, can't funny this is. I can't wait to yeah, play that, this that's scene. your payment right there yeah <laughs> for me that's my payment I love that. And I personally, I know I had the opportunity to watch the first episode of the show and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm actually in love. I cannot wait to be <laughs> able to just watch all of it. And the creative direction behind it is amazing. Bonnie, that's, when adapting the book series, Amber Brown, into a brand new show, what narratives did you know that you wanted to bring to the screen? And what similarities and differences did you want to showcase as we move from the book to the brand new show? Well, the book, I mean, I was writing something about being an aunt. Uh, I was already on a mission to write the show based on my mom encouraging me to talk to this generation. And uh, I was, you know, serendipitous that I would run into the people that had the rights to Amber Brown. And then the family of the author of Amber Brown giving me the creative license to make Amber older, to change the character into an artist who thinks in full animation, you know, her imagination. And I really wanted to... Um, you know, the, to respect the ripple effect of storytelling, that when something's kind and funny and smart, I hope, uh, mm -hmm. it has a ripple effect that maybe it just puts some good energy out there and people will laugh and, and really relate to these characters. And really just hearing your response to watching it just fills my heart. Oh, I'm, I, what fills my heart the most is just the amazing direction behind it because it truly does just captivate so many different parts and aspects that so many different people of all ages of all kinds can relate to. It's such a relatable story. And I know I relate a lot to Amber because I love art and I just love her wittiness. I love her jokes. I love everything about oh. it. <laughs> And you did an amazing job at portraying her character. And Sarah, you did an amazing job as her mother. One thing that I know, you are a mother yourself. How did you bring that personal touch of motherhood into acting as Amber's caring mom, who's also going on a self-discovery herself? Yeah, I mean, I think once you become a mom in life, you never depart from that energy. <laughs> you know, I bring my motherhood into every place I go in my life, into every role in some way. But this one felt really, I felt really, really connected to Sarah Brown. I felt like so many of the conversations throughout the series, uh, the first season, felt like they were lifted straight out of my living room in my conversations with my kiddos. Um, I think Sarah is, is, is really... Um, coming alive in a new way for herself, but it also has a ripple effect on her daughter because the dynamic of their family life is changing dramatically. And, and she just wants 
good things. She wants good things for her kiddo. Um, in the same way that I want good things for my kiddos, I just want them to know how loved they are. I want to set up boundaries that are reasonable. I don't want them to hate me, but sometimes they do. And that, that is just the reality of what it is to be a parent. You, ha- There are times when your kiddos aren't going to be happy with you. And um, yeah, you got to love them you, enough to let them hate you once in a while. You exactly. have to love them enough to let them hate you once in a while. But what's what I love about this show is that And it's similar to the way that I engage with my kids too, is that we are, we're always committed to repairing the the relationship. Whenever there's a breakage, whenever there's a loss of trust, whenever there's a fight um, for me in my household, coming to peace before the sun goes down is absolutely one of our household rules. And so getting to see that play out um, with Amber and her mom in this show, I just, it made me so happy. I I relate to it. I know that other moms out there are going to relate to it. I know that other kiddos out there are going to relate to it. So yeah, and that's the the beauty of this show is the um, different people that can come together to watch it. I feel like um, there are a lot of kids shows that adults don't want to watch, and a lot of grown up shows that kids don't want to watch. And so this, I feel like, is hits the sweet spot um, because <laughs> it's true. Every, everyone can watch it together. She gets it, totally. I mean, it's she got so it from awesome. one one minute. <laughs> yes, saying hello to her. She just gets it. Yeah, an old soul. Right. Brilliant old soul. Oh, I love that. And I know that when the show comes out, I know me and my family, we're going to sit down and watch it and enjoy it to the fullest because it really is a show that everyone can watch. And one last thing I want to be able to ask all three of you, and this can be a little bit hard. I know picking favorites can be a bit difficult, but what would you say is one of your favorite or most memorable lines without spoiler? from the show that really sticks out with you. Carson, I'll go to you first. What would you say oh. one of your favorites? Okay, my true favorite line is like a big part of the storyline, so I probably can't say it. But um, say it. it's that one that's in that seven and eight episode when they're um, at the kitchen table during, during filming. That was so funny when um, the director person is like, oh. okay, so you're supposed to not yell cut. The director is supposed oh, to yell yes. cut. And I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a wonderful episode where they Hollywood comes to Park Ridge, Illinois and into their home. And Amber's in the middle of it. And it's yeah. pretty delightful. Yeah, yeah, and those lines were like, yummy, yummy, yes. Oh, yeah. yummy, that yummy, was so she so she gets a little frozen in front of the camera when she has to act that it's really, <laughs> really fun to watch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sarah, what would you say? I think uh, one of my favorite moments, we we have an episode where Amber is dealing with the grief of her, um, her family shape looking different. And um, she's seeing her dad's kind of start to show an interest in another woman. And her mom is, in, is, is very serious with her boyfriend. And she has this moment where she goes, I'm just, I'm sad. Uh, and and it, she was so brilliant Carson was so brilliant in this scene yeah. but but we talk about grief and we talk about how we still love one another it's just the shape of the love has changed and and I I'm holding her and saying I am I know that things are different in our family right now and I'm so sorry for that I know that's really really hard and you admit um, to your own sadness as yeah well, and I admit my own sadness yeah. and then I say but just like how sadness just like how uh think good happy time times. happy yeah. times stay for a moment and then go so same with sad it stays for a moment and then goes and then she says it comes and goes in waves and that just hit me so hard because that's a direct conversation between me and my mom yeah that's and, a direct conversation and it is it, childhood. it yeah. is a direct conversation I brought into my family because at the time we were shoot, shooting that episode we had to put my dog down and it was our first big grief my family had ever as our little unit experienced in a very big way and I had those words about it coming and going in waves because we had just shot this yeah, scene I feel like that's definitely our hope for the project is to like be able to do that to like for like a parent if they're trying to help their kid with something to almost pull lines from the show yeah just it, to give, help. give words to those very big yeah feelings. I think because there's people on the show like 
have something that a lot of people don't have is the ability to articulate their feelings. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, um, like, especially Amber, she's so young and yet she knows how to do that. She's wise. But she's doing so, it privately with her video yeah, diary. Yeah. So it's a little safer for yep. her. Yeah. And so but, I feel but like we get, still get to see inside that part of your, yeah. of your soul. And so yeah. I yeah. hope that in real life, people can learn from the characters and do the same thing and be able to, um, tell people how they're feeling because I feel like that helps your relationship like oh, sharing yeah. that trust with mm -hmm. your parent or your relative can like how Amber Brown always goes to Aunt Pam to help her or something yeah it's like it it grows your relationship yep it does it's something that a lot of people can relate to and I know everyone will love thank you so much to you three for talking with us here at Two Star Media today it has been a pleasure being able to meet you and everybody make sure to watch Amber Brown it is a show that you'll absolutely love thank you so much thank you thank you, thank thank you, you. for being a cheerleader for us we appreciate it <laughs> welcome always I'm team Amber Brown <laughs> <laughs>